your photo, video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the develop persona in Affinity. Now, first thing to do, just got an image open, and I just quickly go over here, and there's a whole range of personas, four of them. So just click there, develop persona, and you'll see you've got a few options here to add overlays, etc. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through the basic ones over here. Exposure, obviously increase exposure, brightness, and so on. So very similar to the camera raw filter that you can get in Photoshop. Now there's a whole range of other options. You can just go down there, modify white balance, and so on and so on. Anyway, in this video, I'm not actually just want, didn't want to show just this develop, but I want to go to the one that you can find over here, system preferences. And this is on the Mac, and just go and look for extensions, which is just over here. Click that. Where you've got select extensions for editing photos. This is obviously with the latest release of Finity Photo, a whole range of develop, etc., as well as one additional one on one effect. Worth checking out as well. Now, once you've actually got those selected, you can go into Photos, and I've, just, now, I've got a different image now. This one's a, a lovely sea scene in Withensea, a very nice place. And what you can do now, just go down, you've got a whole range of different options. This is in the edit mode, so I just quickly come out, just quickly show how to go into it. Just here, edit, just click that. Once you're in there, just go to extensions and select the affinity develop. Right. So there. Now, the reason why I put both, just to show there's obviously a whole range of different features here that are not all of them available over here, it's very limited, but still a reasonable selection. So what you can do, modify the exposure, so you just reduce that down, contrast, not much, contrast again, clarity, saturation, vibrancy, and you can modify the white balance, it's got shadows, and there's a noise reduction as well, and luminosity, that's it. There's also a split view feature, so you can see the original and see the changes. At that point, save changes. Yep, I will do that. It just goes back into standard Apple Photo in a few seconds. It's quite quick and, let's say, a reasonable amount of uh, controls, but uh, not the full range that you get in Affinity Photo, but still pretty useful. And then, of course, you've got the other filters you can use in Apple Photo. hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.